That is Bayneck Castle. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time. Alright, I do not want to do this again. Hello everyone, Kale Bedrich here, and today we are going to be talking about a man named Sir Arthur Stanley Eddington. His story began on December 28, 1882 in Kendall, Westmoreland, England, where he was born. His dad, Arthur Henry Eddington- <laughs> Who is- That's Charles Henry, not Arthur Henry! Okay, where is it? Um... Ah, so apparently the internet doesn't care about his parents that much, so there's no images. We're off to a great start. Alright, where was I? Anyways, his dad, Arthur Henry Eddington, was the head of a local school named Streamingate. Why'd that go off? Streamingate. Seriously? Ugh. I thought I was going to avoid these ridiculous words. Okay. How do you pronounce this? Because I am not doing another pronunciation montage. Ugh, please be easy. Wait a second. Romanian? Oh, come on! Okay, as I was saying. He was the head of a local school named Stramwangate School. Our first dad seems to be a gifted man. Sadly, he dies in 1884 from typhoid fever. Typhoid fever. Typhoid fever is a very serious and rare disease. According to the CDC, symptoms of typhoid include lasting high fevers, weakness, stomach pains, headache, and loss of appetite. Some patients have constipation and some have rash. Internal bleeding and death can occur but are rare. And sadly, this is one of those rare cases, and that's all there is about his dad. Oh, and I almost forgot. There's also this sign in the background. Check it out! This sign states some things about Sir Arthur Stanley Eddington, for how he was a pioneer of stellar structure, author of the expanding universe, and other things we'll get to in a little bit. However, it also mentions his father being the headmaster. So that's nice. Anyways, his death leads us to the introduction of his mom. Sir Arthur Stanley Eddington's mom was named Sarah Ann Shout and was now a widow with a relatively low income. When Henry died, they moved to a place called Weston Supermare, or as pronounced in Italian, Weston Super Mario. West on Super Mari. At this time, she has to care for both Arthur and his older sister, Winfred. Oh, did I not mention Arthur had a sister? Well, in that case, introducing the newest useless side character, Winfred, as she is never mentioned again. <laughs> and the fur out of the way, Arthur is then homeschooled by his mom before going to a preparation school for almost three years. In 1893, he started going to Brimland School. Brimland School, also known in Welsh as, provided him with good education with limited resources. Also, by using math, we can figure out that assuming he started being homeschooled at five, he was homeschooled for approximately two years. Skipping ahead to 1898, Arthur then gets a scholarship from Somerset County. At the time he received the scholarship, he was too young to go to university for he wasn't even 16 yet. 
However, there must have been some sort of exception or something because he went to college without no delay at all. During his time in university, Eddington mainly studied physics and mathematics. This is basically Arthur's early life. Going to school like a normal person, nothing special. Most of you may be asking yourself, Hey, what is so special about Sir Arthur Stanley Eddington? Well, for one, this photo is not photoshopped. How did he end up here? Well, that's what we're about to find out. Arthur is actually the main reason we know about Albert Einstein, but let's back up a bit. First, he went to college, and since the amount of available time I have, let's continue! After he graduated, he went on to research mathematics and proceed to fail miserably. This is when, in 1905, he decided to do astronomy. Skipping ahead to 1915, when he began to be interested in the most relative theory we can think of, he received papers from Einstein and D. Sutter. Let's focus on Einstein for relativity purposes. Four years later, in 1919, Sir Arthur Stanley Eddington did the first experimental test of Albert Einstein's theory of relativity, known as the General Theory of Relativity. Props to whoever came up with that creative name! Anyways, the experiment took place during a total eclipse. However, things almost went completely wrong. The eclipse was supposed to happen at 2 o'clock, but a storm came in before. Arthur writes this. The rain stopped about noon and about 1.30. We began to get a glimpse of the sun. We had to carry out our photographs in faith. I did not see the eclipse being two busy changing plates, except for one glimpse to make sure that it had begun, and another halfway through to see how much the clouds there was. We took 16 photographs. They are all good of the sun, showing a very, very remarkable prominence, but the cloud has interfered with the star images. The last few photographs show a few images, which I hope will give us what we need. And it sure did give them what they needed for the experiment was a success! And because of that, Einstein became an overnight celebrity. The end! However, that's not exactly where it ends. Arthur then begins to make books like The Expanding Universe and other well-known titles. However, his own story ends as he dies on November 22, 1944 from cancer. And that is the anticlimactic end of Sir Arthur Stanley Eddington's life in a nutshell. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in another video that is not actually my homework. See ya!